hello hello my love bugs once again it's your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden not your heart for i am just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's see what these cards got to say what's going on oh my goodness I don't want to say that. Yeah, man, someone's working super hard to petition death on you, bro. <laughs> Let's just get out here. Queen of Pentacles possibly could be doing this. Give me something on this Queen of Pentacles energy. Whoa, this person's flipping out. Yes, an older feminine that could possibly be flipping out or someone's flipping out because you're maturing and you're in an empress energy now and they can't hit you with any... Yeah, this person thought they were going to come in and hit you with some shit from back in the day. I'm hearing, I want that old thing back. Oh, give me some good love. Somebody rocking, knocking the boot. Somebody trying to cash out. This person is a baby trapper. This baby trapper feel like he want to come in and get some of you. He want to trap you. He like, damn, I've been working hard to try to get your attention. I don't know how to come towards you. Maybe there could possibly be some sort of language barrier. Or maybe this person just don't know how to talk. They don't know what to say. Uh, Maybe they know that you're pretty guarded over yourself because you could have been hindered in the past by having been baby trapped. But this person... <laughs> Yeah, this person's like, but listen, like, you know, it might have went kind of negative in the past when somebody was trying to holler at you. You know, if it ain't a baby trap situation, then it's pretty much you in this empress energy and a lot of people want to give you offers, but you're kind of not taking them. Maybe somebody told this person you were snobby. They got to have some money if they want to come date you. This person said, damn, I got the bag, but I just don't know what to say to you. Okay, this person wants to come in and maybe bag you, want some of your energy this person wants you to take a chance and come toward them or let them come toward you but this person in the past had tried to sabotage you maybe worked hard to try to sabotage you or working hard to try to come toward you so they can sabotage you yeah this person wants you to end up stress worried and anxiety maybe tripping over him i'm hearing tripping oh fumbling oh tripping oh fumbling thought because i've fallen in love in love so this person wants to try to make you fall in love with them and then they want to play with your heartstrings. They want to pull you back and forth. I'm hearing back, back, forth and forth. <laughs> hold you back. Swing forth. Yeah, this person wants to hold you back. Why is it so important for this person to hold you back? Because they feel like they didn't work too damn hard to get your attention. It shouldn't be this hard. Now it's a competition. All right, they was like, at first I was going to come in with my usual bullshit, but see, now I got to go a little harder on you. All right, this person may even be turned on by your intellect, okay? This person is turned on by how you are put together, maybe how you hold yourself together throughout all the bullshit. It's like this person was being coached possibly to come towards you, coached to do something to you. Or maybe someone has this person coming towards you so they can they can trigger you. They want to be able to control you, so they want to try to maybe control you through this masculine okay all right this could also be some business people i'm getting these could be some people that don't want you doing good in business these could be some politicians these are a lot of people that wear suits okay these people uh were receiving maybe off your energy or they want to receive off your energy maybe they wanted to work with you when you turned them down they didn't want to work with you so they want to send someone in to see how it is that you do what you do um how you put your things together. Like they need somebody to date you to get some insight on you. You're pretty mysterious and you're making people worry. I'm hearing you could possibly be housing a lot of energy in a certain community that does witchcraft. And these people are curious about how you do what it is that you do and why you're not ticking like normal people do. Maybe you're um excelling quicker than they wanted you to. They wanted to hold you back. Like I said, powerhouse. So they were trying to use you as an energy source. And now you have people that are working with other businesses or entities uh, around you to try to figure out who you are <laughs> or i'm also hearing to try to figure out how you know who you are maybe you have some real strong authentic energy and these people want to know they just want to know how you're put together so they sent in this king of swords because usually he can you know break a feminine down make her you know uh damn okay make her feel less of herself insecure all kind of shit they feel like you think you all fine, you high mighty, you ain't got it. Like, yeah, somebody think you snobby. Okay, so maybe they told this masculine because they, okay, somebody came to this masculine because they know it triggers this masculine. Like, he's real narcissistic and he has to control feminines. And this is a, a, a good challenge for him. 
And so they came to him with the opportunity of listen, like, you know, you can come on in here with her and figure out, you know, what it is that she practiced and how she do what she do and come back and relay that information to us so we can make some sort of portfolio on her. Then um, we'll know how to control her, you know. So basically they need to send the handler in so that they can figure out how to control you. They feel like with feminists, love is the way to do it. So that's why they're trying to hurry up and send this masculine in so he can give you a love offer. Uh, yeah, because he's really good at what he do. He's a smooth operator. This person feels like he can come in and get whatever he needs to be done. He got the right uh, love spells. I'm hearing he got a grandma and a gr <laughs> Look at this. He got a grandma and aunties behind him that help him do this, that help him trap feminines. That's why he's so good at what he does. He just puts it all on his name, but he was raised to be a baby trapper, raised to be a handler from his family because that's how they received the money, by pimping out their sons, okay? Woo. So this person, you know, he thinks that it's it's okay. He's a gigolo and he's going to come out here and he was going to change your fortune. But he's super, super surprised because he's actually super, super turned on by you. Um, All the stuff that they were saying about you, it kind of like maybe made this masculine mad, made him think, you know how they talked about you. You know, like I told you, oh, she thinks she's too good. She this, she that. She ain't never going to talk to you. Like they boosting his head up and he, you know, was like, well, let me see what all this fuss is about. Let me see. And now this person uh maybe at the time was balancing three other feminines but he lost focus because he wanted to come in and bag you i guess he feels like you're like a big fish or whatever that caused some problems in this family unit that he had uh because maybe he went to them for help to try to get you like he usually does because he couldn't do it by himself and it knocked down their whole foundation like, these people got a lot of chaos going on in their life. Meanwhile, you over here chilling, and that's making it worse because it's pissing his family members off. Maybe they could be leaving him out. <laughs> they could be leaving him out in the dark, or they're not cloaking his energy anymore because they can't, okay? They got this damn. Okay, so basically, these people trying to do this magic on you, they whole heritage got hit. They whole bloodline got hit, okay? Uh, they cannot do they, they cannot do spiritual things like they were doing before in order for them to get money and to keep money in the family. Maybe he was, you know, around a bunch of hot, I'm hearing, uh, brujeras. So he was around a bunch of brujeras or, uh, 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 people who, um, I'm hearing Santita, Santita. So somebody could practice Santeria. Um, damn. They worked real hard to get you all kind of animal sacrifices. I'm hearing stuff like, uh. They could have possibly even got like a West African practitioner or somebody they know that could have been possibly Dominican in on the deal to do some um, sacrifices with some animals. They did a lot of stuff and all that stuff bounced back to them because the Holy Spirit was like, y'all tried it. Your ancestors was like, yeah, y'all trying it. Y'all trying to control who? Okay, okay. Let, let, let me show you something real quick. Let me show you why this child is the golden child. Let me show you why your son wants so much for him. Let me show you why these people try to pay so much for her. Okay, so yeah, this masculine could have maybe gave you an offer in the past. You passed it up. It could be just as simple as maybe like an inbox online or whatever. Maybe you guys could have possibly even went on a date before. <laughs> yeah, y'all could have possibly went on a date before. And this masculine probably had intentions on getting some for you. Because then he was going to change your fate, give you an STD. Then run back to his wife. And then tell her. And then she was going to get mad. And maybe try to do some higher. What is this wife stuff? What is this wife stuff? His last victim. So like I said, these feminine help him go to other, other females. Uh, Yeah. So <laughs> you left this person out in the cold. This person had plans on maybe getting you drunk, taking you back. Yeah, getting you drunk and he's under judgment for maybe how he had those plans in the past to come towards you. He still got some passion for you. Like he feel like he's okay. So boom, they sent this person in. This person did not get to bag you like he was supposed to. I'm hearing first night. Like this person could have asked you to go on a date real quick. He could have been like wrote you on Monday and asked you, did you want to go out on a Wednesday type of deal? And y'all went somewhere. Y'all did. Mm -hmm. But you changed your judgment about this person. Maybe this person tried to spin the block again and come back. Yeah, he been working hard to keep coming. Because he tried to spin the block again and come back around to you to try to date you. But you was like, mm, nah. Yeah, you be juggling females. 
<laughs> but it helped you out leaving this person out of the code because he has some real nasty plans for you. He wanted to betray you. He was real jealous and angry at you at that time because of these feminists. But now he kind of see how they tried to play him. And now he kind of trying to see you in a different light. He's seeing that you the truth. They possibly told him you were some fake ass practitioner. I'm telling you, whoever this other feminine was that he was with. See, because the king of the cup, king of cups right here and right here, he was betraying her, which made it worse. So, good Lord. He was betraying her. He was trying to switch y'all out. Yeah, like, I, I, back to what I said initially. This man certainly could have been sleeping with multiple females at the time, but he had to break his focus on them and come over there to try to get with you. And now maybe his other feminists got their guard up to him. Oh, no, the other feminists. Oh, damn. Okay, boom. So not only do this man got a queen of cups that was working on you, but he also had two side bitches, and he got they, his guard up to, like, he's obsessed with you at this point. So he probably was doing some love magic on you and now it bounced back to his ass and he 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 trying to get over there to where you at because they feel like they want to take you out because this man ain't laying with them no more. You know what's crazy? That they might have even hit up the main female. Because see, look at this. She got two, she got this cup in her hand with two angels on there or whatever. And she controlling this situation. So she might have been controlling him sleeping with them other two feminines. She might have been jumping in on the deal too. I don't know where I'm getting all this stuff out these swingers, but baby, look, they having a time, ain't they? Yes, usually she can orchestrate these meet these meetings or whatever, and they knew that, so they ran back to her and they was like, "Listen, he not sleeping with us either." Lord have mercy, they hold they had a whole phone call, y'all. This lady was like, uh, already wondering in her mind where he was. No, she wasn't wondering at first. I'm here, and she thought everything was normal, like he would sleep off and sneak off, but he was going off with the other two feminists. Child, them other two feminists came back and told him, "No, baby, he not laying with us either. He laying with somebody else." And this woman was like, "Oh, well, we all finna do magic, and we all finna take his." ass out of there because who else he think we they was working together behind his back she was orchestrating all this because she possibly had them women uh under some sort of spell too yeah man these people would lay with people in a lock with them swingers they had whole groups they were sleeping with bro and these people got mad because this masculine wanted to come in towards you so they felt like they was gonna stop him they was gonna do some magic uh uh but uh this queen of the, the wands who was this queen of wands? The one he had a family with. She wanted, okay, so this queen of cups, queen of wands, she wanted to come to him and she wanted to tell him like, oh no, she wanted to come to you and tell you about what he was doing. Okay, so maybe she wanted to beat this masculine toward, like this masculine wanted to come to you maybe in secret and she wanted to beat this masculine to you. So she wanted to come to you and just straight up woman to woman. Barbara, this is Shirley. Don't be calling my man. Don't be talking to my man. Don't do this. Don't do that with my man. We're married. You a hoe. And he ain't gonna sneak off with nobody else. And if he sneak off, like, she wanted to call you, cuss you out, threaten you, child. I was like, this bitch is heavily burned because she can't reach it either. Child, look, he's sitting here wishing and hoping he can reach it. He can't. She heard from the other two side bitches that he ain't over there. So she trying to come towards you. She can't. Meanwhile, and every time they try to get divination on you or look up what you got going on, you over here uh, uh, headed towards some prosperity. Uh, you got a victory. You over here got passion with somebody else, and that broke this man's heart. Because last time he said he checked up on you, you was selling me. He said last time he was in your business, you wasn't letting nobody rub on nothing. You wasn't letting nobody touch on nothing. And now you got the nerve to be out here sleeping with somebody? Who the fuck you think I am? What you think this is? Huh? You got this prosperity over here. You happy? You got all this going on and you still ain't gave me no cootie mama? I'm not about to have it. I'm not about to. We're not about to do this. I'm about to get what I want because that's what I do. I get what I want. And I guess he wanted two females in the beginning. So he felt like since he wanted them, he got them. He wants you. Now he tried to come to this woman and ask her about you. And baby girl was holding back. Baby girl said, no, you can't go over there and lay with her. Baby girl said, you go over there and lay with her. I'm scared you're not going to lay with me. You ain't even sleeping with them and you think about her. You think I'm going to let you leave me? Y'all, what am I? What is this? <laughs> what is this okay this person was literally heartbroken and they feel like you know what i don't know why but this person is housing that std this is crazy these two people these two like uh couples people whatever they are in a cult and they all have this uh sexually transmitted demon sexually transmitted disease that's how they were going to bind you and be able to suck your power was through this and this masculine literally said he want to heal and he don't want this STD no more. He got the money to pay for it and he want to come to you and have you heal him so that he don't have this STD no more. 
so that he can uh completely break free of the magic that these women doing on him because they causing some illusions on him and trying to take all his money this person is thinking of a whole story to come tell you to why he want to come towards you but he need to be able to control these two dogs who are these two dogs like he's speaking on his side females but he not yes he is he talking about how this woman is controlling them just like this woman is control so she might have been big shit now and he feels like he got tricked by her or at least that's what he want to tell you is that he got tricked by her and he want to come towards you and pay you to help him heal but see he not trying to come at you on no nasty shit like i really don't think you know that this masculine still lusting after you but he just one of them people who just want to like get in touch with you again because you didn't, you know, cut ties with him or whatever. And he want to ask you for some business. Maybe this person was, you know, working with you in business in the beginning. You didn't know this person was a practitioner. You didn't know this person had peeped you out. You didn't know this person came to you on purpose to try to trick you. You just didn't fall for none of his bullshit, which made him feel like, uh-uh, like, um, I'm going to need for you to come back over here and see what I'm talking about because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, I guess this man feel like whoever he called on need to go ahead and answer his call because he said he's talking to you, honey. Let me see what else I need to look. What else, Holy Spirit? I'm going to grab my little regular deal. What else that we need to know about? What do I want to know? I want to know what these women planning. These women planning something because this man hauled ass. Whew, these women planning to maybe come get him with the... It's something about the truth. They know that you're deeply intellectual. So if this masculine could be trying to block your intuition to come in and trick you, his feminist is keeping your intuition open as hell. They're sending you because they feel like they they not finna share this man with you. That's their stability. So they feel like you, maybe they, I don't know. It's kind of like they feel like you don't like him like that for real. Maybe because you turned him down all them first times. Because, I mean, these women would have tried to sleep with you too. They share everything I heard. Yeah, especially him. So they're trying to find a way to trick him. Dang, it's about a lot of money, though. They're trying to find a way to trick him and get a victory over him because if they can continue to control them, that him, then they can continue to receive money. But they feel, it's like everybody know they need to bank out on you. They can all share. Okay, boom. No, snap. Okay, they try, They not trying to keep your intuition open. Low key, they tried to figure out what was going on. They tried to peek into your business in the background. They was all doing divination together and was trying to peek and see what was going on. And they see that you had no interest in this masculine for real. But they also see how valuable you are and why this masculine is a, obsessed. So in order for them to keep their spot like they always been doing, they decided that they were going to sacrifice once again and allow you to come in because they were planning on sucking you dry. Okay, they was like, if this masculine can get with her, then boom, she'll be tied to all this bullshit we tied to. And then we can get in and uh, <laughs> then we can get in on the deal, too, and receive some energy. But this masculine cut them off because this masculine knows how powerful your energy is. He's taking a, a, a break uh, to recharge is what I'm hearing. Like this person feel like he need to get his energy up. He don't need to be having sex with nobody. He like really might trick himself into healing. And that's crazy. That's another reason why these women don't want to do that, because this masculine is going to trick himself into healing because he's going to end up he's going to end up detoxing he's going to stop sleeping with them meaning that that tie that they're going to have against him is going to be broke and they're very mad they want to confront him about this they're like no you're not about to leave us in this shit by ourselves how we gonna get money all we know how to do is fuck i'm telling y'all that's what i heard bro i'm telling y'all they heartbroken because now whatever little circle they had when they was pleasing this man to get whatever they wanted or if this man even did go off and sneak and get somebody else into this i don't even I, it's four of them all together get them into whatever situation they got they can suck the energy from this person and leave this person heavily burdened and upset because they were going to try to maybe bully you maybe try to get you to turn this masculine down i don't know what was going on but they was all trying to get in on it and this masculine was like no and i really think that this man is going to trick himself into healing a little bit because he want to be bothered with you but he still got this jealous spirit i'm here he still got this jealous spirit and i think it's a jealous spirit that's in his ear that's telling him to uh, come towards you to stop you from moving off anyway. So this person, like I said, he was sent in to be some sort of handle of yours. So whoever wants to covet your energy, he got to try to escape this cult as well. Okay? He already got his guard up to them women and he telling everybody else that's because I'm getting my power up. You can't just approach an empress on no bullshit. I'm going to be the first one to reach out of my karmic energy and grab this angel and bring her down to earth. That's what he feel like. He feel like he got a new skill or he's going to learn a new skill by holding back. But that's just going to keep him... Yeah, 
this by leaving these people out in the cold. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Four and One and Five. I'm telling you, and he's gonna end up fucking healing. He also gonna end up seeing your ass continue to move forward because he is not your type. He gonna keep trying to send you some message and you gonna keep moving faster and faster because you got a bag somewhere else. You're healing somewhere else. This masculine know you got another man in your energy and he wanna be a third party. He said, I'll even work my way from the side. This man said, I... This man said, I already know what you got going on. I already know what I got to do. And he's willing to try to trick himself. This man is, is literally tricking himself into raising his vibration. But he's still not your man. It's still not going to happen. He's going to still come approach you or try to approach you. And it's not going to happen. He's going to maybe end up uh, halfway through uh, his healing process with an awakening. That's going to let him know that no, it's, it's, you know, he got a different feminine out here. If he chooses to do right, it ain't going to be you. But maybe he was tied in with these women, tricked. Okay, I was getting that they could have possibly been in some sort of coven. So they did betray this masculine to get him stuck in a, you know, was sucking life out of him and sucking money out of him and all that shit like that. And it is for him to have a victory, but he's only supposed to look at you from afar. You're the prototype. He's going to figure that out. He's going to be upset, but then he's going to have enough strength to understand that it was all a lesson in the end. But this is crazy. God using you, child. <laughs> all right y'all this is it this is all my love so i hope you got everything you needed from this reading i'm going to close it out and we'll get into another one so meet me in the next one